YouTube, what up? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on the University of Style. I know you guys are liking that whole meteorologist point. I don't have another screen. This is just completely, well, I may have done this take a few times to be real. But you guys know I love clothes and I love hunting for them. So imagine a wild jungle filled with shirts and, and, and things that have like a little glow dart. But no, I, I love hunting for new clothes, just, just being on the lookout for any type of piece that catches my eye and how I can see myself integrating that uh, into my daily wear. And I bring this up because I go thrift shopping a lot. You don't understand. It's, it's a hobby, it's an addiction. Call it what you may, I like doing it. And this past weekend, I did a little mini haul at a local thrift shop. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what I picked up. So check this out. Polo Ralph Lauren uh, Oxford shirt in a blade cotton. As you can see, um, it has the OG bear stitch on the pocket. And this is absolutely amazing. So it's definitely going to be a more casual piece. You know, I could pair it up with some chinos, maybe some, some nice dark jeans. You know, you don't see this. You don't really see this at all, man. Let me get a close up on this because this is fire. And then you have the vintage uh, blue and red stitching. All in all, great pickup. I can't wait to style this. And this is definitely gonna be something that's in my weekly rotation. So this is it, the vintage white polo Ralph Lauren with the OG stitching, dope. All right, so this next pickup is insane. It's gonna blow your mind because I was just browsing through the rack, you know, just going through it. I don't know why they put the larges on the bottom section because I'm like hunching over and it hurts, right? For like maybe a good 40 minutes, you're just sifting through mounds of, of shirts. But I saw this label and I, I didn't really pay attention to it. I'm just like, oh, silky, kind of purple. And then I, I just honed in, I honed in, right? And then Ralph Lauren. So for you guys that know Ralph Lauren, purple label. This is a dress shirt that I picked up in a pinstripe, white and blue. Let me give you a close-up of this beauty here. And if you can see the made in Italy tag, I'm not sure how the focus is. It's just a beautiful dress shirt. You know, I, I, I would love to wear this underneath a nice blazer or even just tuck this in with a, a, a nice pair of trousers and, you know, we'll call it a day. Yeah, this, this was a grail pickup. You know, I've been waiting on a Ralph Lauren purple label piece. You know, just scouring like eBay, looking for a deal. I think I got this for like $5. This is gonna be in my closet forever. Great pickup, can't wait to show you guys how I'll style this. And then the next pickup is actually one from one of my favorite, uh, I guess you would consider it a fast fashion, my finger cramp there, a fast fashion brand. Quality is never a question. Uh, with the experiences that I've had, of course. The Uniqlo linen shirt still had the tags on and everything unworn. I think this was like eight bucks. It's a great shirt, especially for the summer or during the warmer days. And then for the next pickup, this was a first for me. This is an Oxford, like gray little striped shirt. It's, I'm not sure what the brand is at all. It says City Casuals by Hagar. I love the print. You know, so you got the texture and then you also have these beautiful white lines that complement both the gray, very fall-esque for me. I do, I, I love this shirt very much. I actually wore it two days ago before filming this video. So yeah, I had to iron it out a little bit, but um, yeah, it, it, I don't know what else to say. I don't know much about the brand. Uh, however, I, I'm in love with the pattern and also the color scheme for the shirt. And third time's a charm, and if this doesn't make it clear to you already, I am a Ralph Lauren fanboy. So here is the fourth piece of the pickup. This is a Ralph Lauren flannel. I got it about 
I would say maybe a size and a half, I could say two. Bigger, it's a really nice wash. It's like kind of this distressed cotton. Looks very rugged. You know, the fact that it's drapey and I can wear, give it like this oversized vibe. You know, this was awesome. Honestly, like one of, uh, it, it was, I won't call it a grill pickup, but it was definitely something that I've been looking for for a long time. The, the nice green, the little green polo rider, that's freaking sick. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pair this with like more of like a grungier, punkish kind of look. You know, maybe wear some distressed jeans and then some black boots. So for the next piece, it was another denim jacket. I think this is my fourth or fifth one in rotation now. This is a Gap 1969 brand. I, I don't know, it's not from 1969, but I guess it's from their collection. It is a denim jacket in this sail or light bone colorway. There's really not much to say about it. It's a denim jacket. You could throw it on over everything. You guys have seen a bajillion videos on how to style one. In this colorway, I don't see too much. It's usually just like a blue wash or like a black jacket. Now the next piece is gonna blow your mind. It is, drum roll please. None other than a 2007 Metallica Injustice for All. Very thick, very heavy kind of t-shirt. You know, I'm in love with it, with the artwork of this. And, and for those of you guys who don't know, I got introduced to Metallica years ago uh, by my dad and then I checked them out on, I fell in love with them even more when they're on Rock Band. Injustice for All, favorite song is one, definitely top 10 favorite rock songs of all time. It's like a ballad. The nice neon title here. We have the blind statue and the scales of justice, which looks seem to be shattered. Uh, that's art. Backside has like this almost blood splattered effect right here on the band name and then uh, this big hand with a hammer with all the band members, right? Super sick. Can't wait to be wearing this maybe, I'd say, a couple hundreds of times and I will run this thing to the ground. You know, this t-shirt means a lot and the fact that it has this like nice boxy uh, oversized look is it, the aesthetic I'm going for. So, favorite pickup, this is freaking dope and I can't wait to break in, show you this. Now that I've shown you all the items from the pickup, here are the outfits. No, I'm just playing. Okay, so we're back in the pink shirt, lightweight hot, because uh, it's currently like 80 something degrees right now. I know I, did, I wasn't able to put out full on fits for you to check out with each of the shirts. I did want to show you guys what it looked like on body. Let me know in the comments section below which shirt was your favorite and which one were you hating on. If you guys like this style of content, leave a big thumbs up, because I'd love to put out different types of videos for you guys that you can resonate with or even just enjoy, flat out enjoy a lot more. So let me know as I love to put out more different styles of videos to just help give you some variety, give the channel some variety, and also just help it grow a little bit more. So that never hurts. And as always, I'm here to help you look good, feel great, and dress better. I'm out.